بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی محمد سیف اللہ فرام اس کے ٹی اکیڈمی ڈاٹ کام ان دس ویڈیو بی بی لرن اباؤٹ ہاو ٹو میک اکراس سیکشن اپا بیلڈنگ اور میکنگ اکراس سیکشن اپا ڈرائنگ ان آٹو کیٹ سو فور دس آئی ویل ہیپ ٹو ٹیک اکاپی آپ یور پلان ڈیلیٹ دیز آبجیکٹس ناو You must know about that we will have to draw a reference line where you want to show or you where you want to make your cross section. For example, on this place, I want to make a, a cross section. These points will be as a reference point. So from here, I will start making my cross section. So here you have to make your elevation tag or you can use a ready-made if you have. Uh, so you can insert from anywhere so I will draw a circle don't need any scale just draw a shape mirror it now draw a line here and draw a line from this point to this point uh, you also can mirror it again now delete these lines and you will have to put H in it so I will put solid H and now write a word here 8 inches will be its width height and select your font type and then A so this will be our section A A uh, now you can make a block of it so B for block section Tag 2. For example, select your objects and pick point. So this will be my pick point. Okay. Now move here and mirror it. On midpoint. So this is how you can draw a reference line and tag of section. Now if you want to trim these so you can so for beginner it will be easy uh, how to make uh, how to draw lines from these points now I will draw a reference line from this line as a ground line and if you want you can move it and for move a bit near to your drawing now uh, draw a line from this point and also from this point again and from this point so you must know about uh, your ground level and plinth level distance if you don't so by di you can know about your distance di for distance so this height is 1 feet I will take offset of 1 feet and this height is 11 feet so I will take offset of 11 feet and trim above these lines now trim this is again and for shade you have to draw your line to this point and to this point so if you know uh, our root thickness is 6 inches so here I have to take offset of 6 inches now extend these lines and trim unnecessary lines and uh, now here we have to put some important things uh, from plinth level we have an offset of 7 feet we have an offset of 7 feet for beam that beam is called lentil beam so I will have to take offset 7 feet because here we have uh, our height of door and window is 7 feet so our lentil beam will be above these objects uh, and again offset 9 inches 
now be careful uh, we don't have a beam in this place because it's the center of our room so I will trim it trim it and trim it because that beam is only in walls not in the center of our room so it will be like this now for DPC you can take offset 2 inches trim outside outside and uh, if your finish floor and DPC uh, width uh, height is uh, equal then this is okay if it's uh, different then you can change it but I will um, take it to uh, 4 inches for 148 that uh, raw floor we make in new buildings so trim trim and also trim these lines now you have to take offset of 4 inches again this will be for uh, normally we have uh, gravel stones or sand uh, below our PCC 148 so if you want 4 inches 3 inches 2 inches you can but uh, 4 inches is ok for here and I will delete these lines because I don't want ground level here and I will have to make a continuous line a sign up continuous copy this so that's it now uh, you can put materials in it so h4h and now select this one for brick 34 and c34 is ok and select here you can preview it but I will adjust its scale to 5 maybe or 15 uh, I will change it to 1c31 it look, looks good uh, 30 will be ok again h4h you can inherit your properties I mean you can copy your H so inherit properties click here and now click inside our boundary again press enter and OK pick points click here enter two times again enter pick points click here and enter two times now H for concrete so we have architectural concrete here ok scale is 1 and pick white click here enter and ok again pick points enter again enter two times pick point enter and again enter now for dpc we'll have to put solid so solid and solid has no scale and no angle now we'll put again H4H and concrete again concrete and here we have to put a gravel stone or sand you have architectural sand R G press G for gravel stone. Okay, click here, click here, review it. Now, 50 will be okay if you see. Uh, sorry, it's too much. 20, so that's okay. Now I will draw a line here for ground level. and h4h 
we have h here e earth okay i will give it a scale of 200 and i will give it an angle of 45 pick points click here enter and okay if you want to see preview you can and now delete these lines now you'll have to write information here so i will do another trick here le for leader s for setting and you can see uh, setting here so i want my annotation type multi ticks uh, now you can change your line leader and arrow so i want straight i want maximum three I want my first angle to be 45 and my second angle to will be horizontal and you can also change arrowhead but close field is ok now press ok and click here but remember you will have to turn up ortho click here and click here so this is this is our 45 angle and this is horizontal now you can give it a text width but uh, press enter text write your text here and, uh, and after that we will give it a height so my first line will be 2 inches thick pcc 1 2 4 again enter 4 inches thick PCC 1 4 8 again enter 4 inches gravel stone compacted you must do compaction again enter and uh, here we have to write earth fully compacted now press enter two times to see our text now double click and select your text change its type for example calibri and give it a height of one feet if you want okay so this is our text so i will give it a height of six inches and press ok so this is okay now you also can change your arrow head size i will double click on it and here you have to give the size so four will be enough i think this is how you can change arrow head now you also can write here again le for leader click here click here and click here enter 9 inches thick i will write rcc lentil beam sorry I will write 9 inches thick RCC lentil beam and then its ratio 1 2 and 4 enter two times and double click select your text Calibri and give it a height of 8 inches will be enough and change your arrow head this is how you can write now for the masonry you also can do it enter break work in masonry give it a ratio of one five one three 
uh, which you want you like so you can do it you can change it later if you want Calibri okay so this is how you can write different text and the last thing uh, we have about RCC slab LE4 leader 6 inches thick RCC slab and now write its ratio double click make changes or you also can uh, MA4 match property click here and click here so that's how you can change it control A for select all and calibre so you can make your work fast if you are a pro first learn and then apply it quickly now write it text here section at a so this is how you can write section 8 AA or section 8 BB or section AA very simple very easy to learn uh, sorry in head so you can change your text anytime you want that's it for this tutorial in the next video we will make a section bb so i hope you will like my videos if you have any question you can write in comment i will try to solve it i hope you will like my videos if you like my videos do subscribe my channel like it and share it see you in next video bye